Welcome. Welcome to my stream. Hey everybody. Welcome. Oh, you call me a nerd, huh? You think you can come in here and call me a nerd, huh? Well, okay, I guess you can. Hi. Liquid Frenzy, Yevson, Burner Account, Bmax, Talking Pulp Press, Ralph's Door, Raced, The Frog Father. Hi. I brought a bee in the house. Like a live bee. It's in this jar. Hi. It was too cold outside, and he was freezing, so I brought him inside. I picked him up and he started buzzing at me. <laughs> Very cute. Yes. If you're cold, they're cold. Look them in. <laughs> Imagine being cold outside and a giant lily puts you in a jar and brings you in. Bro. That's what happens. Check out my fruits pigs. Do you like my fruits pigs collection? Hopkins. Who are you? <laughs> anyway, this probably will not be a very long stream. I just want to do the Noi to Daily Run. And then a bit of hedgehogging. Hi. You love fruits pigs, really? You're not just saying that to make me happy, are you? Because I can tell. Oh, I know. <laughs> if this is Noi to Daily, then what is it? <laughs> Underscore level just subscribed. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Thank you very much for the one year dot level. That's so cool. The fruits pigs are cute. Yeah, they are. You see the deep lore about fruit pigs is they're cute. Yes. 
this is true. Once in Gamba. I don't know, I was kind of bummed out yesterday when I lost, but I knew... Okay, when I saw the spell drop, I knew that my chances of winning went downhill. Because I can't resist having fun. Sometimes you have to build a very dangerous spell. Because you know how much fun it will be. Spirit bolt, fire bolt, and acid. Probably want to get rid of this potion. Yeah, you can run the gambit. Go ahead. <laughs> so this can uh, melt through any li any solid in the game. And I'm just gonna empty it here. Any solid other than this specific block, apparently. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know that. We have a black hole once. Did the game crash? Kind of looks like it did, huh? You get double gold when you get a physics kill. And now we will have a water potion! Yeah, they were wise to my tricks, huh? <laughs> Swirl drop just subscribed. Lily hope What? Two of them subscribed. Hell yeah. <laughs> like from the Castlevania collab. Sorry. Just very excitable. I guess it's in my nature. <laughs> So, uh, that Hisi took out the dog, because dogs are a monster faction, and, and Haliko Hisi is Hisi faction. So there's three different, like... Which caught just subscribed. Castel Vanny A. <laughs> Castel Vanilla. There's three factions of enemies. Well, four, if you count the player. Well, five? If you count... Are the passive wildlife a different faction? Anyway, there's a few of them. There's three major ones. Is there a worm faction? Yes. But the worms are just... Wait. Are the worms their own faction? You're exposing gaps in my noid knowledge. My noid... My... <laughs> my... Noidledge... <laughs> These guys are immune to acid, interestingly. Yeah, my noit ledge. It happens. Okay. It's always good to get the trick kill with the Stendari Devil guys. Because they drop a ton of gold. Water plus toxic equals water. Very simple. Simple chemi chemical equation. <laughs> Thank you very much for the six months. Albion. Albion online. An MMO that I've never played or seen. Mindless scientist. Hi, Jarek Storm. We have 240 gold. Could get a bit more. Gonna look at my bee. Hold on. I brought a bee inside. He's in there. I'll take him out after this. He's got sugar water. He's good. It's nice and warm in here, too. B. <laughs> That's right. 
You can't attack him because he's got pheromones. Is that the wand of blackened holes? It is. It is, it is. I'll show you. Oh, we just cast Love and I at him. He's like an axe knight, look. We dragged him over onto the water. I wouldn't have known about that. Unless I played Cast Levenaya. I really want to play Castlevania 3. What kind of bee? Uh, well, it's a he. It's a, a drone. An Apis Mellifera drone. That's one of the reasons why I took him inside. Because this time of year, the worker bees are kind of not that nice to them. Hype train! We have achieved the hype train! I love this song. Talking about bees? I am talking about bees. There are many different types of bees in the world. Even colorful shiny ones. Yeah, Castlevania 3. I hear it's even harder than Castlevania 1. And then it's very exciting. Look at the pretty. Please enjoy. Three fifty. Oh, I see a magical wand. <gasps> so, uh, he see can cast magic. I will take. He'll take it. We have magical arrow in the game files. Thank you very much for the three months. In the game files, it's actually called magic bullet. And in the localization, they changed it to magic arrow. Three A one is fine. Does the green plaque do anything? Yes, it's an emerald tablet, which is a real historical alchemical document. This game is like based loosely on, uh, like the history of alchemy and chemistry and like magic and stuff, but also the movie. What is that movie called? You know the movie? <laughs> the movie where they go into the basement in France. And they figure out, well, there's the whole philosopher's stone. The bicycle thief. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the immunity. <laughs> yeah, the single movie. Uh, anyway, so you can perform a ritual if you take this above the mountain. Zarkodia just subscribed. Lily, oh hi, Lily pet. Hi. Thank you very much for the 26 months. There's also some lore written on it. If you are so inclined, I am not. Anyway, you can take it above the mountain and you can get some gold. It is also a physics object that you can do a crazy amount of damage to enemies with. I show you. You can use this to one-shot a lot of very strong enemies, because physics damage is a special type of damage in this game. That's what I said, John. Sorry, I was just pretending to be angry. I'm not really angry. Okay, uh... Luminous Drill. Do we have a multicast? We do not. Oh, we have electric immunity, so we could take electric torch, theoretically. That could be kind of interesting. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Dot level. <laughs> Good movie knowledge. Or... Good open source intelligence. Either one. <laughs> okay. Luna's drill is a lot like Chainsaw, where it has passive stats on your wand. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, it's kind of true. <laughs> okay. That's fine for now. Good, good. Goki, of course, loves magic arrow. No, not magic arrow, spitter bolts. But I like that movie. I was surprised how low it, of ratings it got. But anyway, this whole game is like partially based on that movie. And yes, this song is from Hollow Knight. It's my favorite area in Hollow Knight, too. Yeah, they go into the basement. Hello life. <laughs> I wonder how many times that joke has been made, huh? Hello, Gookie Dev. One. That's the first time. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably switch this out. Yeah, it's Billy Bobkins. That's right. Welcome. I thought the lore of this game was just alchemists messed stuff up and all died, now finish their stuff, kind of. Partially. <laughs> okay, we should find a different way around. Sounds like it's from Hollow Live. Well, I shouldn't stand near that. Yes, it is. Good um. Ooh. Ooh. Many explosions are happening. <laughs> So the poison can only take you to 5 HP, it cannot kill you. But the fire can kill you. And the poisonous vapor can kill you. Oh, we have linear, linear, what's it called? Linear arc. That's a really good modifier. And we have a double cast. I will take it. Just in case. A lot of gold here. Uh... Probably a bad position. Analyzing. I like how the lava cools into rock. Doesn't that look cool? Have you ever beaten this game? Many times. In the hundreds. Naga, Lily Hole analyzing. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memes that you do. Is the the fake yet funny sounding emote codes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had more water. Not in real life, in the game. Oh yeah, black hole. Like the game, or I am very bad at games. But I'm good at some stuff. Okay. I don't want to completely sell myself short. I have some skills. <laughs> but everybody's got strengths and weaknesses. You've got both. It's easy to forget that sometimes. 
I want this. And I don't want to use a black hole to get in here. What the? No, give me the gold! No, no! The gold! Oh. Okay, we're good. I'm going to the bonus area to try to obtain some rare magic. I have to be careful around explosives. The gold! Exactly. Ribbit, ribbit. Thank you for the ribbit, Lone Star Colt. This projectile is entirely fire damage, so if you have fire immunity, it will not hurt you at all. And that is unusual for projectiles, because usually they have an elemental component and also a projectile component. No, not the green one, the one that these guys fire. This bug. This enemy is called a Picotule Carpenter. Picotule Carpenter. Look at all that lava. I always thought it looked like cheese. You ever have just a really good grilled cheese sandwich? I should stop, I'm gonna make myself hungry. Molten cheese lava. Good to see you again too, Cliff. Cheese, the moon? You can visit the moon in this, and it is made of cheese. Maximum health upgrade. Is there a better way to get through here without burning a black hole? Uh, maybe. We do have Luminous Drill. So that's always an option. Lava still comes out of here. If I douse myself with water before going through, it should be okay. You like dipping in the ranch? What about that in tomato soup? Gunpowder. Detected. Grilled cheese and tomato soup goes hard. I think it's good with the sauce. Personally. We need a stronger weapon. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, good with the sauce. There used to be a really good grilled cheese restaurant that sold nothing but grilled cheese here. But it closed down because I think... I think people don't like grilled cheese, actually. If you want to see me get annoyed, you have to watch me play Dark Souls or Elden Ring. I will get annoyed so fast. Schwa! Thank you very much for the raids. I hope you had a lovely stream. Everyone, please follow Schwa. Yeah, I know, people don't like grilled cheese. Hi! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, it's the pig man. He's not really a pig, but he looks kind of piggish to me. <laughs> I share it with you. What kind of wand do we have? Oh, if I get close with Luminous Drill, it does insane damage, by the way. Oh! Did they change the name of Rotational Homing? Oh no, this is a uh, Cursor-based Homing. Interesting. Uh, the mana charge speed is really bad. However, this does technically combo with Toxic Mist and Linear Arc. So I will take it, tentatively. There's a wizard, a swapper wizard. This is death, this is death. I must run. You're not for drunks? Are you lying? Be honest. I feel like you're lying to me. This guy melted. If you have the slime stain, you can just stand in fire and it won't hurt you. It is the most fire, uh, fire, fire not make you on fire material <laughs> in the game. Interesting, but Thundercloud also is explosive, I think. Oh, concentrated. Thank you very much for the eight months, cat girl. Concentrate is the easy pick. It adds a lot more damage than it sounds like it does. They kind of downplay it in this description like oh uh concentrated spells it'll make your spells uh have less spread and extra damage but really it's so much extra damage that it's ridiculous my cat. I love multicasts. Analyzing. <laughs> Are you annoying, son? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I'm annoying. Hi! Hi. We should get a trigger, huh? So it doesn't spawn directly on top of us. That would be ideal. We need recharge speeds. 99. That's pretty good. That's uh, okay, serviceable ones. You're gonna buy that extra spark bolt, right? You're crazy! I've had it up to here with you! Yeah, that is a good idea, though. A girl is gifted a sub to Amy Minty. He was right. It adds critical hit onto your weapon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, good thinking. Apparently the uh, critical hit actually helps quite a bit. Oh yes, 
This is an endgame wand. You learn curve plays here. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you very much for the gift sub. Oh, I appreciate it. Who's that? Wizard? Oh, a monk. What is this? It's a wand, right? I never fight the extra boss here. On stream, Jack. There's a few. Oh, I, I said stream, Jack, but that's not what it's called. There's a few games I would play on Steam Deck, I think. It's kind of pricey, though. I think at that point I would just buy a laptop. Well, but it has a controller, right? I don't know. Maybe steam ducks are goaded with the sauce. Come back. <laughs> They're good at what they do. There. Or that, or that. Them in another controller. I need some water. Is my bee still good? Hello. Sorry, I've got a bee in a jar here. For those of you who aren't aware. Hello. Are you okay? Uh, oh, bees smell terrible. <laughs> Not missing out. Uh, sometimes bees freeze in the winter, so I like to take them inside and then put them back in their house when they're moving around again. <laughs> Ooh, okay, accelerate. Good day today. Oh, what's this? Magical scepter of wisdom. Firecracker sucks. I wish it didn't. Cool concept.
Wait, uh... Worm! Drink his blood. See the future. I want to watch the Dune movie again. Part 2 is coming out in March, April. I think I remember not liking the first part very much, but I want to watch it again to see if I do the second time. Freezing Vapor does a ton of damage to you. What the heck is that? Runestone of emptiness. What the? Oh! Magic! Oh, it nullifies magic within the field. I can't use my spells here. Can I pick it up? Do we have a Steve? Can I get a Steve? Poison trail? Unlimited spells. Taken. Timer. Timer is good. That was a dumb idea. This is dumb. We're in the vault. The game starts to get a bit harder here. So the electricity here can no longer damage me, but the fire and explosions and freezing vapor can. And I'm getting bonus crits from this blood. So that is helpful. I watched the movie Finding Dory this morning. That movie has a really good original soundtrack. It's very synthy. But it has some jump scares in it too. The OST. So I didn't like that about it. I think I'm a lot more tolerant of jump scares in games and movies than I am in music. If it, <laughs> if it happens in music, I just get scared. <laughs> Consistent water theme. True. <laughs> okay, we should leave. This is doubly down here. We're line of sighted here. Come then. Hmm. 
We have double scatter. That's okay. Circle of stillness. The Steve killer. Okay. Uh... You heard that bouncing burst is apparently really good. It can do theoretically infinite damage. Because it gets a damage bonus based on its final velocity minus initial velocity. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. And everyone, please follow Pink Wizard 10. Broken wands. We do a lot of damage. Dead worm in a very funny position. Yeah, you can figure out this game pretty quickly. It's all about just learning what the spells and perks do. No more shuffle. Something is glitching out, hold on. As if YouTube Studio. Yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> Rainbow Glimmer. Cute. We do have a trigger spell here. Yeah, what that means is not only do faster projectiles wreck, but the longer the projectile is on screen, the more damage it will do. So it combos with, um, with projectiles that have high lifetime because they will get more effect from the acceleration. I remember when damage feel used to be good. This is weaker, I think. It's a utility wand, basically.
Over, over. Hollow Knight is good, yeah. It's <laughs> so stupid. Make defense shield. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. <laughs> but pleasant. I love this song. This is my favorite area in the game. In Hollow Knight. It's called Green Path. <laughs> He'll never go through my defense shield. Have you thought about trying to get cloak or amulet? No. Uh, not really. But it is a good idea. This thing will explode. We should be away from it. Okay, yep. I want that health bonus. Doer. I'm not that much of an adventurer. More of a wand crafter. <laughs> I craft wands for adventurers. Technical wands. Oh, we have quantum, quantum burst, quantum projectile, whatever it's called. That's a good wand. The one by the teleporter. Oh, I see. Yeah, fair. What is this? Less capacity, half capacity. I want this one. Wait, isn't this good? Yeah, this is good. The bee is coming back to life. I love him. He'll be able to fly soon. What is cringe? You're cringe. <laughs> you calling my 
Bond cringe. Huh? Okay. Can't believe you would call it cringe. <laughs> Isn't that yet? Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> Portitis, other than a speedrunner. Did I get water? Okay, I did. I hope we don't run into the one of those parry guys. That would be so unfortunate for me. Oh yeah, you have to destroy his egg, right? Only crazy people take teleportitis. The speedrun in this game is like sub two minutes now. The platypus? Yeah, the platypus. Harry, the platypus. What happens if you don't destroy his egg? He'll come back to life. He's one of those egg bosses. A tried and true game mechanic. Path of Dark Flame. black hole. So there's something to keep in mind. Oh! A spike trap. I love the utility from freeze charge. I always like ice weapons in every game. Maybe everybody does. You like water plus ice. Respectable combination. <laughs> I can I can make it into rock with my freeze charge. I can cool the lava down into rock. Yeah, the ice bean. I love that too. Sorry for calling attention to your typo. I just thought it was cute. This is all. Earthquake. Scorpion. <laughs> Would you eat ice beans? <laughs> Would you ever eat an ice bean? Would you drink coffee? Steeped from... Would you drink cold brew coffee steeped from ice beans harvested from super rare Antarctica-only coffee plants? 
Super Metroid has a glitch called Space Time Beam. What if it was a Space Time Bean? <laughs> I like this scenario. <laughs> These polyhedrons have so much HP, it's ludicrous. Okay, there's a wizard. Remain calm. Ugh. Okay. I'm good. Wizards are among my greatest fear. I shouldn't be here. I just shouldn't be here. Good. I could go for some space-time beans right now. <laughs> Look at this big femur. <laughs> okay, uh, remain calm. Remain calm. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> good try, good try. I want to play Sonic Hedgehog. We'll do one Sonic Hedgehog attempt. How's that sound? We have to hedge some hogs. Hi, Vera Alston. I liked your stream earlier. It was very good. Let me swap over. Please admire my fruits, pigs. Of Sonic Hedgehog. Sonic Hedgehog, the protein encoding gene. That's a bit of a hedgehog vania. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I should change the category. Hedgehog. Game. Sonic. No. Sonic. The. Hog. Shut up. Who's your favorite Sonic character? Big the Cat. Debuff Bluff has gifted a sub to Rosin. But I call him the big cat, usually. I know what he's called. It's just a nickname that I have for him. Thank you very much for the gift sub. That's very kind of you. Hold on, I'm selecting the game in Sega Genesis Master Collection of Hell. Oh, we've got Sonic Spinball in here? That's so mean to say. Oop. Activating Sonic Hedgehog. I feel like if I went slower, I would not die. I always get, like, always kind of near the end, or I do something kind of silly. I think I'm just a little too silly. That's my problem. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh no, that's right. Okay. Uh. 
<laughs> okay, we have one Sonic Hedgehog attempt. Say ga, ga. I have to use the spin more often. How come bees are an enemy in every game? How come bees and bats and snakes and frogs are enemies in every game, huh? Do game developers just hate animals? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I have to get 50 rings. Bees and frogs are friendly in Little Nemo the Dream Master. I need to play that still. You have to show me. Will you will you play me Little Nemo the Dream Master sometime? Are they bees or hornets? People okay, people are mean to wasps too. I'm sorry, I know there's haters in the audience, but I will play the other oh, one's the lucky cool. There should be a springboard here. Frogs are too cute and dumb to be evil. Oh, really? Dumb, huh? Oh, really? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Time for music. for the hundred bits. Akko. I hope you're having a good day and thank you very much for your call and generous contribution. That was very nice of you. Sonic lyrics doesn't real. <laughs> hate this game, but this is an underrated gem to me. Have you ever seen ladybug larva, by the way? They look quite unusual. Welcome back for more hog. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome my stream. Welcome my stream. Sonic, Sonic, Hedgehog. <laughs> what do they look like? Uh, hold on. Uh, they look, uh, they're black and orange, and they're kind of like little worms. This is such an under egg. <laughs> yeah. The hog. The hog. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, it's a learning process. <laughs> I think this could easily become one of my favorite games of all time. Real. Non-fictional. I like going upstairs because there are additional rings. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, talk. Uh, talk. <laughs> Look at how many rings you get if you come up here. What is up there? I wanna go up there. Even more than Resident Evil? Uh, depends on which Resident Evil. Of course I have a very strong bond to Resident Evil. 
I mean, it's not like playing enough Sonic 1 is going to make me be like, Oh, actually, Resident Evil 1 sucked. <laughs> I don't think there's any risk of that. But I might... It, like, it is possible that I might like it as much as Resident Evil 1. Like, I could have two games at that level. Oh, I hate this part. Ooh. I just heard, bro. Summer, summer, the hedgehog. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy. You can play as Barry! I have to play that. I haven't played it yet. But I very much love portable game consoles. Ah, uh, this again. But this is the upstairs one. The sequence kind of reminds me of the uh, the last part in Cuphead with the like parry sequence. Just add some infected zombie shooting, and this is basically Resident Evil. No, it has survival elements. You have to hold on to your rings. I will get more rings if I go up here. Sonic 1 is harder than the last level of Cuphead. Sonic 1 is a hard game. I keep hearing people say, Sonic 1 is super easy. And then I played it, and I'm like, nope, it's hard. I need 10 more rings. Oh, this is Act 3, it doesn't matter. Do you like Mega Man games? I've only played Mega Man X and Mega Man... Mega Man X 1 and, uh, Mega Man 2. But, uh, yeah. I do like them, I'm just not good at them. I'm not very good at platformers in general. Even though I enjoy them. I kind of specialize in games where I have to make a lot of decisions or figure out little puzzles. I am, uh, not very coordinated. You have a lifetime of experience playing this game. I think that's what happens with the, son uh, with the 2D Mario games, too. When people are like, Mario 3 is super easy. And it's not. At all. Like, if you handed someone who's never played Mario a controller, and you were like, you have to play this, or you will die. <laughs> they would die. They would be totally dead. Okay, we only need seven rings. That's all games. Not, uh... Not the game I just made up. Easy land. You know how to play Easy Land? There's only one difficulty. Hard. <laughs> no. No. Especially when you have a lot of experience within the genre. Yeah! I always compare myself to people who have been playing like, retro games for a long time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so good. How am I gonna be that good? How can I beat Sonic 1? I'm nothing like them. But it's an unfair comparison, right? A lot of the time we make unreasonable comparisons to other people. Like, oh, let me compare myself to this person who's been doing this thing for 10 years. It's like... Okay. I get why you want to do that, but it doesn't really make that much sense. Good luck exper explaining that to your brain, though. This 
Sonic OC one. I would make a Sonic OC. That sounds like a good idea. Wait, isn't that just a furry? Wait a second. You trying to trick me into being a furry, huh? Okay, we didn't get 50 rings. Good try, though. If Lily is good at Dark Souls, I should be good at Dark Souls. <laughs> I, I am not good at Dark Souls, though. At least I do not think I am good at Dark Souls. Oh, I always jump into it. Okay, this is Act 2, so I do need 50 rings. Lily the Hedgehog. Your lizard brain is too silly to understand Dunning Kruger. That's okay. You can roll into these guys. I always thought their segments would attack me, but it doesn't happen if you roll into them. I think stave states are really cool. I think I said stave states, but you know what I mean. Uh, I think they're good for practicing bosses too. I love save states. Stave states. It's like a... <laughs> okay, stop doing that. Good job. What's your favorite Sonic game? Probably Mania. I like Mania very much. I also very much like Sonic Adventure 1. It has the big cat in it. And uh, when I see the big cat, I feel very happy. Big the big. <laughs> I like that he and Froggy are best friends. I think it's very cute. And I like his character song. It's very good. Okay. Catch the big. Sonic 2 or Sonic Heroes. People love Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is beloved. I'm gonna try to learn a deathless route for this. I want to, to become deathless. In Sonic 1. But I am not there yet. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, like a lich. I love liches. No liches? Okay. Am I going the correct direction? Maybe. Possibly. My golden rings! I deserve that. Oh, you like that, huh? You like that I lost my golden rings, huh? I think the backgrounds in this are so cool looking. Thank you for the clip. I appreciate that. Sonic 2 is your first one. You played with your little brother 
growing up when you were three or four and always died on chemical plant zone. That's so cute. Chemical Plant Zone has some of the best music in all of Sonic. It even has an HH Greg remix. Very good song. True. Um, do I want to go this way? I think I like going the other way, right? Can you go the other way? down here. No, because this- doesn't this take you to the wall? The, um, the wall that you have to break from above? Maybe not. Sonic the Hedgy Hoggy Sonic the Hedgy Hoggy Sonic the Hedgy Hoggy Sonic the Hedgy Hogger. It looks like there would be a secret here, doesn't it? Maybe some wall chicken? There's something extra interesting about the graphics in Sonic 1. I agree. It feels pretty different from the style they eventually settled on. I like that it's very, like, puzzle-centric. I was upstairs making macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and I had your sonic lyrics stuck in my head the entire time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your cheese is delicious. And your macaroni too. Mac and cheese, pog tasty. I know there's a sonic JRPG, but... I wish there was a Sonic Tactics RPG. Did you know that in Japan they don't call them Tactics RPGs, they call them SRPGs, which means Simulation RPG. And I think that's interesting. Simulating what? Exactly. Uh, that's okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. You always thought it was strategy RPGs? Uh... No. No! I need my gold ring! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's called Marble Zone. It's the name of the zone. Hi. Hi, Shadowrunner. Yeah, I love this game. I'm kind of addicted to it at the moment. It feels oddly similar to my uh, Castlevania trance I went into. I was completely obsessed with Castlevania 1. Or, as you may know it, Castlevania. Lily, just pick up the wings! <laughs> Yard zone. This is my least favorite zone so far, but I really enjoy it. You want to see something funny? You want to see cop? <laughs> cop. <laughs> okay, thanks.
Copyard zone. It is. Oh yes, it is. Time to cope in the game of zone. Nick, the hedgehog one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. Does it activate him? How's that in the base game? What if I modded this game just to add cope? Would you be surprised? <laughs> what if Sonic the Hedgehog's real name was Nick? But he, he tried to get people to say Sonic because he's like, No! No, everybody in our club, everybody in our racing club has a cool nickname. And I want to be Sonic. <laughs> that would be cool. Nick of time. Yeah, people would always say that to him. I should, I, I almost risked it all. I should not have jumped there. <laughs> Isn't his name Maurice? Is it? <laughs> Spending months learning 68,000 assembly... Oh, <laughs> just to add cope and then never using the skill again. <laughs> Have you seen the music editor that they used to make all of these Genesis songs in? It's crazy! Has Lily played Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? Uh, I have played it... ...when I was growing up. But I have not streamed it. It's kind of cool, actually. It's a little bit like Banjo-Kazooie. If you like games like that. And it's like... It's... It's a little bit more like Banjo-Kazooie than Jack and Daxter is. And I would say it's more banjo -y than Spyro, too. First half pipe. None of them are doubles. Sonic Hedgehog. Sonic Hedgehog. <laughs> Your final boss came as a kid was Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. I've never heard this from Ryu before. Real? You making this up? Huh? You can't- you can't do that. What I just did? Mm -mm. Real confirmed. Goki lore. You need to replay Jack 1. I'll get you, Dr. Robotnik. I think Dr. Robotnik is much cooler than Eggman. If the bad guy is a doctor, it calls everything into question. He got a PhD just to oppose you. Ow. And those things suck. Dr. Egg. <laughs> Dr. Egg. <laughs> oh yeah, what if he has a JD? Then he would just sue you. <laughs> Sonic, I'll see you in court. Maybe he made all of his henchmen call him doctor until it's stuck. <gasps> That could be. The Chaos Emerald is now legally mine. Oh, Sonic. I'll see you in small claims court. I need to get, uh, mm, 37 more rings. 
Let they start calling him Eggman. I didn't know you could jump on the front of them. I thought you had to roll into them. Interesting. I love this part. <laughs> I'm not even touching the controller, it's too much fun. Okay, I'll touch it. Bing. Bing. Nice Santa builds. Pepe. Emote. Okay. Itokauri! Hi! You streamed Paper Mario! Welcome! Thank you very much for subscribing. Ow. I love watching the rings go everywhere. It's a guilty pleasure. I think I'll do it again. <laughs> the Goliath Frog. Interesting. After all, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I look at the rings again? That's Post Malone every day. When he opens his his dresser drawer to look at and like there's a sh camera shot from below and the card illuminates his face when he opens it. After all, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I look at my one of one serialized The One Ring Magical Gathering card? Oh, a shield. in for one million dollars. They should have asked more. He's got like a billion, million, jillion dollars. Seeing the rings hurts Sonic. I wonder what happened to Sonic. check. You good? Hi. Hi. Can you hear him? <laughs> He's not buzzing anymore. He's just walking around. He's just chilling. It would be kind of cringe if you sold the one ring for two million. You sure about that? Was it only one million dollars? How much money does Post Malone have? Post Malone net worth. Everybody that I thought was a millionaire is actually a billionaire. Okay, he has 45 million. Would you spend one forty-fifth of your net worth on the one ring? If you were a one ring super fan. Post Malone one ring card. Purchase. Two million. He may have paid as much as two million. Yeah, I know that PSA graded it for two point two million. Two point six million? He bought it for two point six million. 2.6 million. That's still not enough, right? 
to them more. Yeah, apparently it was two million. Is that acceptable? Are we okay with this amount? Okay, this is the second. So there are two and they go slow. Should be more. If you had 45 million, you would finally be able to. Hold on, I have to scroll. You'd be able to afford a tier two subscription. Please don't use your ability. Ugh. You ability user. What does the card do if you play it? It decreases the value of the card. Got him. You would wear it as a necklace. You can- okay, you can get that card in the non one of one serialized format. There's like a billion of them. But they also printed a version that says one of one on it. And the card text is printed in- in- in Tolkien's black speech. That is spoken by the Nazgul and the Dark Lord Sauron himself. I know it's actually Sauron. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> Sauron is an odd name. True. I like to say Sauron because it reminds me of dinosaurs. <laughs> you pronounce it Sauron too. Cool. My favorite kind of candy is sour candy and gummy candy. I don't like chocolate very much. I was just thinking about that because of sou sour on. Do you like warheads? I was just eating warheads today. I had two of them. I had a blue one. Okay, this is the third set. They're mixed. So they go fast and then they go slow, but there's two of them. I have to get better at this. When, when they're going slow, you can just jump in the middle. And then they go fast again, but there's one. What's the best sour candy you've ever had? Hmm. My favorite sour candy. I don't know. That's hard. I kind of like sour Skittles. <gasps> ooh, ooh! I do have a continue. Those. I've never heard of this sour candy. Where are these light bars? I feel like it's supposed to be like... I always thought it was supposed to be like little indicators of like, oh, like flashing neon lights and stuff. But they don't need to actually draw a whole neon light, right? They just need indicators. But I don't know. It's kind of like how, like, see these things? They have holes in them. But I don't think they, like, they actually are supposed to have literal holes in them. I think it's just a stylistic thing. Like, oh look, we made it cooler by omitting a certain detail. So, like, the flashing light bars are probably supposed to evoke, like, oh, you're in a big city area with a bunch of signs and stuff. That's what I always thought. Apple underscore 2099 here. X100. Gotta get some sleep. See you later, Ray. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bets, Akko, and I hope you have a good rest. 
Okay, get to the top. I do like sour gummy worms. Those are so good. Okay. Dr. Robotnik. This is a pretty easy one. I died. <laughs> No! I want those rings on the other side. Very easy stream, huh? Oh, have you had Sour Patch Kids watermelons? Those are so good. Like how when the invincibility is wearing off, the stage's music is played slightly faster for a few seconds. I don't know who that is, sorry. You prefer the green sour patch only because green is your favorite color? What the heck? I like green candy a lot too. Okay. I just have to be a little more careful. Okay, that's bad. Ooh. Unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm done for now. I thought we had to continue, but I guess we don't. I will stream again tomorrow. Maybe. The jump button didn't work, I thought. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.